Okay. Hi, my name is Ilya Klusman, and today I will be discussing the animal cloning. There are approximately 78.2 million dogs owned in the U.S. and 86.4 million cats owned in the U.S. When pets die, it usually leaves a family heartbroken. But what if there was a way to change that, to bring back your favorite pets? Here's a way through animal cloning. First, I will discuss what animal cloning is, what, what, what is the procedures, and the major benefits that they could produce. There are three types of animal cloning, which are DNA cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning. DNA cloning is the transfer of DNA fragments from one organism to another. They usually use a genetic element such as bacterial plasmids. This form of technology has been around since the 1970s. Reproductive cloning is used to generate an animal that has the same nuclear DNA as another. The first mammal ever cloned was Dolly, a sheep, in 1997. The success on Dolly's experiment was amazing because it proved that genetic material from a specialized adult cell could be used to generate a new organism. Therapeutic cloning is Therapeutic cloning is referred to as embryo cloning, which basically uh, is used for research. The goal of this process is to collect stem cells that can be used to study human development and to treat diseases. All three types of animal cloning has dif have different procedures and purposes. The process to complete DNA cloning is that they take a piece of DNA from an organism and, re and replace it with a genetic element. Plasmids are self-replicating self extra chromosomal circular DNA molecules. The process involved here and the process involved in reproductive cloning is somatic, somatic cell nuclear, nuclear transfer where scientists transfer genetic material from the nucleus of an adult do donor to an egg whose nucleus is removed. Then the new egg is treated with chemicals or electric shocks to stimulate cell division. Finally, when the cloned embryo is ready, it is transferred to the uterus of a female host where it develops until birth. The process for therapeutic cloning involves the use of stem cells. Stem cells are original and they virtually generate any type of cell in the human body. During this process, stem cells are extracted from the egg, which then eventually leads to the destruction of the embryo. There are many benefits that animal cloning could provide in our life. Most of the benefits will come through the therapeutic cloning since its goal is to gain research. Through therapeutic cloning, it could eventually be possible that we could find a cure for serious health issues such as heart attacks, cancer, Alzheimer's, and many others. We can also grasp a better understanding of genetics. Cloning could be used to parents who don't want to pass any defects to their children. A study showed that U.S. attitude towards animal cloning is uh, unethical. But for therapeutic cloning, but for therapeutic cloning, they have different views. A study of 2,295 people was made, and more than two thirds of the people approved therapeutic cloning to cure diseases. Over half the people approved therapeutic cloning to help cure allergies and stop miscarriages. In conclusion, I have been talking about what animal cloning is, how animal cloning is done, and potential benefits from animal cloning. Animal cloning could be seen as a futuristic idea, but it is very possible. It can help our society find cures, and also, it can help our society find a cure for serious diseases through research. Finally, 
there is a way to bring back the animals that, that were, the pets that were lost in our life. Okay, thank you.